One question I hear a lot from people is how to transition to being vegan when you still have animal products in your life. You still have leather seats in your car or leather couch or leather shoes or leather purse or wool sweaters, cashmere sweaters, silk ties, that sort of thing. The short answer is as you're able to eliminate them from your life and stop buying more, you will. As you become less comfortable with them on your person or in your home, you will stop buying them. But just as becoming vegan is a process, so is being vegan. There's no one answer. One question or two questions I encourage people to ask themselves is, how does keeping these leather shoes contribute to animal cruelty? Or on the flip side, how does getting rid of them help animals? The answer to these questions might help you decide what to do next. Keeping our old leather shoes until they wear out or wearing our grandmother's pearl earrings doesn't make us less vegan. It just makes us more human, imperfect humans in this imperfect world, using this thing called veganism to do the best we can to not contribute to harm against others. That's a pretty fantastic way to live. It should enhance our lives, not diminish them. But let's also not let perfection be the enemy of the good and not do anything at all because we think we have to do everything at once. Don't do nothing because you can't do everything. Do something, anything.